Okay, for this video, we're going to be tying the Alpine Butterfly. It's a three-way loading knot, often used to isolate a damaged section of rope or just to have a loop in a rope to clip something to. And there's a few different ways of tying this and ultimately tie it the way that it works for you. One of the more easy methods of doing it is if we look at my hand here, we take the, the tail, we go one, two, three loops. First one goes over the second, and then the second one will go over the whole thing. And we'll just push that through, pull it apart, and there we have the Alpine Butterfly. It can be loaded in these two different directions, and with the option of the third, if this is safe and not damaged. If you're really looking to isolate a damaged section of rope, then you're gonna to have to have at least 100 mil here, and 100 mil here, if that damaged section is right there. This is not my favorite way of tying the knot. What I prefer to do is this way. So I'll take the big section rope. This is also the better way when you are tying a bigger section. I'll drop that and then there's no twists. So I'm going to create a twist by going from the bottom over. And now this is the new bottom. I'm going to take that and go over again. So now we have this hole here, here's the legs. Don't worry about any twists going down to the bottom of the loop. I'm gonna grab this and just pull the whole thing through that loop. And now, again, we've got that Alpine butterfly, three-way loading knot, but the loop is much bigger. And I just find that more useful when we're tying the knot. I also think that way that I've just shown you is better when you're trying to tie it in a specific place. For example, let's say that's the damage there. And I really want to isolate that damage section of the rope. So what I'll do is I'll take my big loop. As long as I've got 100 mil, that, that should be okay. So let's take a decent section. No twists at all. We'll go twist, then take the bottom section, twist again. There's my hole, there's my legs, and just grab this and stuff it through that hole that you've created with your fingers. Pull it apart. What we're looking for when you dress the knot you see these two legs that are going in to the holes and um, that's a good way of recognizing when you dress this correctly. And there's the damage section of rope with plenty of safe, healthy rope either side. So I find that a good way to isolate a damage section of rope. 